Hi everyone. So for anyone that's just wanting to know how far I've gotten instead of watching the whole thing, um, yeah, all of it nearly looks like I've gone backwards. So I've fiberglassed these um, areas for the trim tabs um, heavily and then with the leftover stuff I've done some bogging. Um, and then... Oh, I've got a trailer for the boat now and I've got it on the trailer. Uh, that's the other thing. And uh, I've cleaned up all the wiring underneath of the floor area and and uh, pinned it all up. And um, that's all neat. So that's ready for me to start sanding and painting inside the pockets. I've also removed all the drawers so I can sand and paint that area well actually i don't have to do it in there but yeah there and there i do and uh, i've had lots of interruptions and i've been working a lot the rest of this is video is how i got here to this stage <laughs> I just love hearing how low it idles. Two cylinder, 20 horsepower diesel. There's a tender for the denominator for my 25 foot bedroom. Another fixer upper. You look cool. That is handy. Girl, what a guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got to move these sliders or whatever you call them, these beams forward because this trailer's so long, it'll only just fit in the shed. And I'll move it about 350 mil forward. I'm going to hang the back off the trailer at the moment uh, so I can work on the on that. So you can see my problem. By the time this flattens out, it's gonna be back here. So I need to move the boat that way and up so I can go on to the rollers. Absolute nightmare, or not rollers, uh, stupid pads. I haven't used pads on this boat yet, but I was told they're, they're fine if you're putting it in the water, but um, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to uh, put it on and off blocks like this, but I gotta do it. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll grip, but if you've got the trailer sunk, it'll just float off. <laughs> that won't be for a while.
That doesn't feel good. I've got to even it up. It doesn't look good. <sighs> the other trailer was so much easier. <laughs> it's because this thing's so high. It still hasn't flattened off. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I, I could um, chalk these wheels and then and then tie the winch to that and then hopefully it'll level the trailer out. I don't know, I might try that. It's just way out of control like that, but maybe it's not, I don't know, I gotta try. So my route is buggered, but it had enough to get some um, grooves in there, it's just so I can grind back to the grooves. See, I've got to grind back here, and then I've done the same thing under there, and then just done a spot here. But yeah, the bearings are gone in the router. It's 
had lots of use. Anyway, more dust. Goody. Okay, so I didn't think I was ever going to get these looking all right, but I, I reckon they look pretty good. They, um, they're all rounded off at the moment, so I can wrap fiberglass around it, but now I'm going to put some bog um, everywhere and then I'll let it get tacky and then I'll fiberglass over it then. And uh, there was porosity in the fiberglass there and there it probably didn't like getting sprayed on or rolled in the corner uh, and it probably won't i probably won't be able to do it either <laughs> but um uh, i'll uh, give it a shot i'm, I'm just gonna s squeeze some bog in there and and uh yeah i'll i'll fiberglass over it but i um i just used uh i just used a flat edge like this to make sure that the fiberglass, I can get a few sheets and get it nice and fat. I was going to recess a piece of wood in here. Not gonna worry about it now. I'm just gonna beef it up heaps with uh, fiberglass. But um, yeah, <laughs> you can see there's a giant gap, especially on the edge, on the, uh, yeah, on the corners. But um, oh, so I need to get that really flat so the trim tabs can sit there. That's a reason I'm building it out like that. Um, oh yeah, and I've got a old through hull there that I've got a fiberglass as well. Um, there's something else I wanted to say. Um, what, when I was doing this to the bottom of the boat, making sure I was I was um, gonna have fiberglass. Uh, like a good thickness of fiberglass to wrap around this bit um, and and here and stuff. I just out of curiosity because I could like see it. It's got like a, it doesn't look like much, but the back of the transom. It's hard to show on a video, but, but um, it, it does that at the end. I don't I don't know if that's normal. But I guess it's maybe what, uh, yeah, it's probably probably not meant to be like that. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's like it's 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 deflects down a little bit. Is that normal? <laughs> or should I bog it up and make it completely flat? Because uh, I'd say it's kind of like having trim tabs at the moment, holding the nose down. But I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, she's way higher now with being on the trailer. I'll worry about getting it symmetrical once I get all the fiberglass on. Um, at the moment, it's close, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll 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 do the fiddly sanding and measuring and stuff um, after I've got the fiberglass there, and I'll build it up with bog and whatnot. Should be fun.
So I'm just uh, pre-wetting out. I'm trying not to use any bog. I just want to make it really thick of fiberglass. I'm using epoxy resin. So for a uh, stuff up that I did. <sighs> That's pain in the ass, I think. Because of that. called me to ask if I wanted to go halves in a boat that would cost one dollar. Look how good it looked. Of course we got it. That's a joke. So we towed it to Caboolture River where we would figure out what we were going to do with it. We decided we'd blob it together good enough to sleep our friends and families on it, drag it to Morton, anchor it there with a really good anchor and leave it there with a combination lock that we could give whoever the combination. We're rich. We've got a boat. So we dragged it back to Deception Bay where we could access it easier. And to her. I ripped the floors up, it didn't look that sh when I um, when we first bought it. I even left his blankets here. With the, I don't know, kitchen. Leaving it in Deception Bay meant we needed to put an anchor light on it because of all the boat traffic. Jake and I also used his hooker unit to scrape the barnacles off the boat. It ended up being too big a job, so we didn't finish it. This ended up being a really bad idea too. I was thinking about that put it in here. Let's put it there. <laughs>
after sorting out the anchor light, I bought a welder generator so I could make repairs on the boat while so it was put in this the bay down. because there's Can no you see power me? I needed. Power yeah. From the welder generator. Ready? I later found out that the switch has to be on the contactor properly to work. So you have to wiggle it. Good boy. <laughs> Nah. About a month after we scraped the barnacles off, this happened. What are you doing, Jackie? Are you filming? <laughs> Hi. Cleaning it up sucked. I wish I had cleaned it before it sank. Oh, what a mess. Abandoned ship. All the treasure. Okay, that's recording. Just hold it. <laughs> Give it a good yank, quick yank. That's it. You can't get too much in the way, Michael. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm getting jumping. I think it is not the best place to be. <laughs> it's just going to keep over there. It's not going to go on. Mrs. Hoopfire. We contemplated sinking it near Morton for our fishing reef, but uh, that's a big no-no and we pushed out. But to get it pulled out, we needed to get insurance and this was a pain. It took me a lot of places to get it insured. No wonder she sunk. Oh. This is hoop fire, you're so dirty. <laughs> bye bye, Mrs. Hoop fire. So from that experience, I'm pretty sure we were, Jake and I were both $200 down, even after getting the scrap metal money. And uh, I think I recouped the money after selling the, all the old sails and the anchor chain and anchor and whatever other poop that was left on the boat. <laughs> hey Squidge. Yeah. The feeling once you know a boat like this is your responsibility makes you feel sick. 
There's a lot of people out there that get pretty mad and upset if you leave it in the bay without a mooring. Just be mindful of this before you take on a project like this. It would be great if you were allowed to sink boats like this in designated areas. The fish love it. I don't see a problem sinking them if all the rubbish and toxic stuff is removed first. What do you guys reckon?